using Dollar Tree items for sublimation. A few things that you'll need before starting this project. Um, you're going to need some sublimation paper. You're going to need a sublimation printer. This is an Epson EcoTank 2760 that I have converted over to sublimation printing by adding sublimation ink. You're going to need some protective paper, some heat resistant gloves, some heat resistant tape. I have some laminating sheets in there and I am using a Cricut Easy Press 2 for these. These are the Dollar Tree items that I'm going to be using. A stuffed toy, a dish towel that's polyester, a hot pad that's polyester, some wood square planks, uh, chalkboard tags, galvanized sign, and a framed canvas. The first thing you should do when you get started is you want to measure the surface that you are going to be putting your design on. So I have measured all of my surfaces to make sure that when I design that they are going to fit. Now it's time to decide what images you're going to be putting on your blanks. So I go to my Creative Fabrica account. I have an all access. I will put a link for that in the bottom. I design in Microsoft Word, so after I download my images from Creative Fabrica, I open a clean document in Word. I'm just going to run through using Microsoft Word real quickly. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to insert your images. Now in Microsoft Word, when you are layering images, as you can see here, I have brought in um, some blue and some green and then I've got some butterflies that I am overlaying on them. You cannot layer unless you use the um, layout option with text wrapping and you're going to pick through. Some other things to keep in mind with Microsoft Word is there are a lot of features. Again, here you can see that I brought in the image, what does burning smell like? And then I use the wrap and through feature again so that it pulls it up into my design. And then up on the top, you can see that there is a wrapped text icon up above as well. So there are two locations that you can do that. And then on the far right, you can see that it gives you the size of your image that you are working on. You can edit your image size under the picture format tab. Now you can see that this what does burning smell like I wanted that to be 4.12 because that's just about the right size for on that hot pad. But I also wanted to show you over here on the left you can see the arrow pointing up to color and artistic effects. This is just showing you that you can change the color of some of your images. If you click on the color icon it brings up different uh, shades that you can use. You can also see here that there is an artistic effects tab and if you go down to artistic effects options it pulls up this format picture on the right and that gives you some more options that you can use. Just one more icon that I want to show you quickly here is that you can insert word art by going to this A that's kind of slanted here that the arrow is pointing to. Here I've used that word art icon and I put my name in and then I changed it to curls and made it 36 uh, font size. But you also want to wrap and through your uh, word art as well or else you can't move it on to a design the way that you would like to. So now we're ready to print this page. So I want to go into my printer properties. And I'm just going to run through the settings and printer properties. You want to make sure that I have my 8.5 by 11 and that I have premium presentation paper mat. And I also want to have the quality on high. Then I'm going to go to more options. In the more options, you're going to go into image options and you're going to choose emphasize more and then emphasize thin lines and then you'll hit OK on that. And you want to make sure that you are mirroring your images, always mirror your images in sublimation. And you want to make sure that that high speed is unchecked. You do not want to print in high speed. I'm going to start with the galvanized sign. 
So I took the galvanized sign and I cleaned it well. And then I took a laminating pouch and I cut that pouch in half. Now I want the inside of that pouch that I cut in half when it's folded, the inside part is what I want on the metal. So the inside of the pouch you want on the metal. And then I press that at 385 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds with heavy pressure. And please use uh, protective paper on both the top and the bottom. After this metal cools down enough that you can touch it, you're going to want to trim the excess laminate off around the metal. And then you're going to add the print image face down on that laminate that you just put on there. And you're going to want to put protective paper below that and above it again. And you're going to press for 60 seconds with heavy pressure at 385 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you can see on the right there after the reveal, it just, the, the colors just really pop. I really like this process. It's the first time that I've ever used a laminate sheet and it really turned out well. Now we're going to put an image on these square wood blanks. These pieces of wood are, are the same on both sides. So I just picked the cleanest side, the nicest side, and I laid my image down on top of it and then I taped it well and then I pressed it for 385 degrees for 60 seconds with heavy pressure. And I started to re un reveal this to unwrap it and I was just amazed. I didn't do anything to the wood. It was plain wood and it turned out so well. I think if you were to put um, some kind of a clear coat on this, it would be a nice coaster or you could really use it for anything. So here's the stuffed animal. So I trimmed my image down and then I put it face down on the image, the item that I am sublimating on. And then I used good, firm, hard pressure on this 385 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds. I did not tape it. I just put my easy press on top of it and I pressed it hard for 30 seconds and the color just really popped on this. And again, this hot pad was super easy. I like the pocket because you can get a little packet of uh, some mix, some baking mix, and stick it in there with a whisk or something to give as a gift. So all I did was I cleaned this hot pad, and I put the image down on there. I pressed it for at 385 degrees Fahrenheit. I only used about a medium pressure on this for 30 seconds, and it really turned out well. And here is the dishcloth. I cleaned it with a lint roller and then I put my image down on there. I just love this cat. It's fine, I'm fine, everything is fine. And if you look closely on the finished image, you can see the red lines um, in his eyes and the blue in his eyes on that brown towel. So it actually turned out quite well. So I did it for 385 degrees with light to medium pressure for 30 seconds. Here are the chalkboard tags. The chalkboard tags have a chalkboard on the front that's black, and then on the back it just had plain wood. So I used the plain wood side, and you can see the image that I put together overlaps on there nicely. I did use my heat tape, and I taped the image down, and then I put protective paper both on the top and the bottom, and then I pressed it with a firm, hard pressure at 385 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds. And the colors, again, they just really pop on this wood. The pictures don't do it justice. It really, really looks good. Here's the framed canvas. Now I know a lot of people take these framed canvases apart. I didn't feel like taking it apart, so I thought I would try something different. So I trimmed my image and then I actually kind of rolled up a dish towel and I put it underneath it and then I laid my image on top and I pressed this 385 degrees with heavy pressure for 60 seconds. This is my least favorite of all of the items that I did. The colors, you know, they, they are the green and the blue, but they're just not as vibrant as I was hoping for. But all in all, I would say it's a win. 
Well, here are the finished products. Again, the canvas is my least favorite, but I have to say that this galvanized sign with the laminate sheet is my favorite of these. And the stuffy toy, that is so cute, but they're all cute. The dish towel turned out nice, the wood turned out real good, and the hot pad turned out great. I am very happy with all of them. Like I said, my least favorite though would be the canvas, but it probably works better if I were to take the canvas off of the frame. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel and you can see links below for other videos that I have and um, items that I've used in this video. Have a great day.